This is how you can create a moderate nickname command using your discord.js version 14 bot. So let's go and get started. We can go ahead and start off by going over to our code here and we're going to go over to moderation and we can go ahead and create mod name.js. And here we're going to define our slash command builder. We can get our embed builder and we're also going to get our permissions bit field and we can do equals require and we can go ahead and get our discord.js package. Then after doing that, we can go ahead and write out our commands. So we can do module.exports. We can open this up and get our data, which is going to be our new slash command builder. We can go ahead and set a name, which is going to be mod name. And we can go ahead and set a description here. We can go ahead and say moderate a user's nickname. And then we can go ahead and add a user option here. We're going to go ahead and do option arrow function option dot set name. It's going to be our user. Then we can go ahead and set a description. We can say the user to moderate. And we're going to go ahead and set required to true. Following that, we can do async executes. We can get our interaction and we can go ahead and open this up here. We're going to go ahead and start off by making a permissions check. So we can do if no interaction dot member dot permissions dot has and we can open up our permissions bit field dot flags and then we can do dot ban members. Then we can go ahead and return await interaction dot reply and we can say contents and we can say you don't have perms to use this. And we're going to go ahead and set informal to true. Then after doing that, we can come down here and we're going to go ahead and defer a reply. So we can do interaction .defer reply, and we can go ahead and set informal to true here. So after doing that, we can get our variables. So we can do const and we're going to get our options. We can go ahead and set that equal to our interaction. Then we can do const user equals and we can do options that get user and that is going to be our user. Then after we do that, we can go ahead and get our member. So this is going to be const member equals await interaction dot guild dot members dot fetch. And we're going to go ahead and get our user dot ID. We can also go ahead and catch an error here as well. Next, we can go ahead and do const tagline equals math dot floor. And we can do math dot random. And we're going to go ahead and multiply that by 1000 and then we can do a plus one at the end so then we can do const embed equals new embed builder and we're basically just going to go ahead and write out our embed here so we can go ahead and set a color for me this is going to be blurple then we can go ahead and set a description and i'm going to go ahead and get a staff emoji here and we can go ahead and say i have set and we can do user dot username and we can do an s and we can say nickname two and we're going to say moderated nickname and then we can go ahead and get our tagline just like that so after we do that, we're going to go ahead and open up a try catch here. And we're basically going to go ahead and say await member that set nickname. And this is going to be our moderated nickname. And then we can go ahead and get our tagline. So we're going to go ahead and set the nickname to moderated nickname with a custom tagline at the end, basically so that we can distinguish the member from the other people. Then we can go ahead and catch an error here. We're going to go ahead and open this up. We can just return await interaction dot edit or apply. And we can go ahead and say content and we can go ahead and get a caution emoji. And I'm just going to go ahead and say I was not able to complete this mod name. Then after we do that, all we have to do is send our embed. So we can come out of this catch and we can do await interaction edit or apply. And we're going to go ahead and get our embeds, which is going to be our embed variable, just like that. So with that, we are actually done with this entire command. So we can go ahead and save the file, restart the bot, and test this out. All right, so over in the Discord server, we can go ahead and test this out. So I have a user here, and let's say this username or this nickname does not fit the criteria now keep in mind it could be a nickname or it could be a username because you are just setting the nickname so for me uh, that's the name of the user and this user so username here or nickname does not fit our name criteria so all we would have to do is mod name and we can go ahead and choose our command and we're just going to go ahead and get that user here so once we go ahead and send it, as you can see here, it's going to go ahead and think for a second and then it's going to go ahead and say that it has set this user's nickname to moderated nickname 15. So we can actually go ahead and try this a couple more times, but first, as you can see, it set it to that user. So let's just go ahead and try this again. And we're going to go ahead and get the exact same user. So it's going to go from 15 to a different number. This time it's 169. And we can go ahead and do this a couple more times, just showcasing the randomized tag feature. So we can go ahead and do this again. This time it's 678. And one more time, we can go ahead and do this. We're going to go ahead and get that same user. 
and this time it's 398. So for the random tagline here, you can actually go ahead and make this number bigger or smaller. If you were to add a zero in there, then the tagline is going to grow by one number. So instead of in the hundredths, it's going to be in the thousandths. Depending on how big your server is or how many digits you want in that tagline, you can go ahead and customize that number. So that's you can make an advanced mod name command using your discord.js version 14 bot. If you do need any help with this, go ahead and join the server in the description below and use our help channels and we'll be happy to help you out and you might as well just join anyways because it is a pretty good coding community and with that i will see you guys in the next video